Hi, Mark Sarine here, Flame Trading Systems. Today I'm here to talk to you about our spinning machine, which is one of the flame hardening machines that we built several of in the past. Uh, my father, Merv Sarine, who started this business back in 1973, really with the thought that uh, we could do just about any kind of heat treat with flame hardening and it could be relatively economical as, as, as equipment. And so by doing that, we're helping to provide equipment that can uh, economically heat treat your parts. And so in, in keeping with that idea, he developed the spinning machine for spin hardening parts, basically rotating them uh, on a turntable in front of torches and then taking them down into a quench bath. Now, something as simple as that actually turns out to be very useful, very, uh, you can do a variety of different parts on a, on a machine like this. Right now what we find very uh, used, very what this machine seems to be used for a lot these days is for flame hardening crane wheels. In fact, this video here will show you some of the crane wheels uh, that we can harden. It'll show you an example how these crane wheels are hardened. Basically what happens is obviously they spin in front of these flame heads. These are special design flame heads too that actually put the heat where they need to go in order to give you a nice consistent hardness pattern on the crane wheel. And the quench itself is critical because depending on the material that you harden, you have to have possibly polymer added to the water, the temperature of the water of the quench needs to uh, be maintained. And so all those things are, are being taken care of on this spinning machine, along with the controls that is required so that you can come back to the correct flow rates of the fuel and oxygen, which is extremely critical for consistency. And also for any time you change a flame head, you're going to be changing the flows. And so you want to be able to go back to the same flows that maybe you did on a part several years ago or just last week. So not only does it give you the chance to go back to the same flows for the flame heads that you have, but it also gives the operator something to monitor to make sure that he's consistent as he's going through the production process. All those things are critical along with, on this machine, we also have an optical pyrometer that you can use to measure the temperature of the part, which of course is the critical thing. When you're heating something up, you need to take it to the temperature, the austenitizing temperature of that material. So we have a, a, an optical pyrometer for that. You can set this machine so it uses the optical pyrometer when it reaches a particular temperature, the heat turns off and the part goes into the quench. Or you can use time. So either one uh, will work. And so this machine can also do gears. It can spin hard in gears. It uh, sprockets, um, you know, anything, several different kinds of parts. It can also do IDs, internal diameters. Uh, of parts too, so that you can spin heat the inside of something and then take that down into a, the into the uh, quench. So this this machine has a lot of versatility to it. We have found that over the years we've probably I figure we've est I estimate that we've built probably close to 20 of these things um, since the company has been in existence. So uh, and most of them are actually still being used right now. It's one of those kind of machines that you can use over and over and over again and um, and it lasts too so um, hopefully that helps you to to see some of the things that we can do with the spinning machine and here at flame trading systems thank you for your time